Clover Fresh Milk is the number one milk brand in SA. Made with love by Clover. I'd like to say I've been waiting all show for this, but I kind of feel like I've been waiting my whole life for this. Some things in life just work, especially when you crack that perfect taste combination like a pro. Here to show us how to make one of life's classic combinations in one delicious loaf is a pro, Grace Stevens, who I've also been waiting my whole life for. Oh, um, so because you, You're a pastry chef <laughs> extraordinaire because you do the most awesome things. You take simple things mm. that we know and love and you just give it a little tweak to make it like mm. almost godlike. Oh. This, I, I think this is a blessed loaf of bread um, wow. because it, it, apart from the fact that it just looks amazing, um, milk and honey, yes. uh, do you see the reference yes, there? Yes, uh, um, divine but sort Is there anything image. better, maybe like, Crispy chicken skin might be just better than a freshly uh, baked loaf of bread, or maybe, I don't know, is there anything better than fresh bread that you've made no, yourself? No, I love fresh not. bread. Oh. Maybe there is. It's so called honey, that honey the and milk melts bread. Oh, bread. my word. Um, so, Grace, this is quite spectacular. This is awesome. What's the vibe here with this loaf of bread? What are we, are we making a dessert? Are we making a bread we can eat every day? What's the flavor profile of a bread like this? How do you see this? I think because you've got the honey and we're using butter in this, it's going to be a soft, soft. So it's not a crusty loaf, it's soft. So something maybe with soup, like toasted, with a little bit of extra honey on top of that. Even, you can even this makes the most amazing, yeah. French toast with this sort mm. of bread is just out of this world. I'm, I'm actually more excited than I should be around, uh, about this bread. It, it is awesome, it's yeah. more inspiring, and the best part, it looks relatively simple. It uh, is, okay, it so, is, it is relatively um, simple. If you want to get on it right now and start baking as we speak, the keyword is clover, SMS that to 3378. We'll send you an ingredients list and you can start baking, which is exactly what we're gonna do now. So where do we start, what do we do? Don't ever forget the salt in your bread. You have to put salt in your bread. Is that purely for flavor? Does it have a chemical kind yeah, of balancing it component? It helps to set your crumb, but uh -huh. it definitely with flour, because it's so bitter, you need to put some salt Salty. in it. Okay. And you're always then balancing, it's always balanced. My clover full cream milk. Uh -huh. This makes such a nice soft crumb. So about a, about a cup and a half of your milk here. I like to hydrate my yeast with my milk, but you can throw that can straight in your flour, okay. that's fine. Melted butter also gives you a nice soft crumb. Really nice. And then our, oh, honey. Oh, lovely. Honey goes in there, helps the yeast to work. Also gives it such a delicious flavor. Yeah, I'm thinking once that's been the, baked yeah. through. Oh. Um, and I like the fact that it's one of the base, I mean, yeah, you can ladle honey on your fresh bread or whatever, there but I like the fact that this is infused in the very core of the bread. Yes, um, and if you're beautiful. conscious of the, all the extra sugars that you're putting in your body, body this is a great way uh, oh man, I mean, to substitute. We can substitute. speak at nausea about the um, health benefits of honey, but we are making something delicious and sweet, and it must taste like milk and it must taste like honey, and that's all, well, all we want. Well, can't go wrong with this. And you know what you can do with this, Graham? Make this dough up the night before. You mix it up, you knead it, you pop it back in the bowl, cover it with cling film, and then put it in your fridge. Then when it, it will prove in your fridge. Let the bacteria do its and thing, And then yeah. you can take it out and bake it up nice and fresh for breakfast. Um, in the, why is that part of the process so important? What, does it need to go in the fridge? Does it have to, what, what's going on? Does it need to go does in the fridge? Does it need to be put into the fridge? No, but a lot of people say, and I do find it is true, that if you prove, your first prove, if you do that in the fridge, it does give a softer crumb. It just gives it a just wonderful extra, flavor. Extra love in, extra love. Yeah, out. and also you—you you know who has a couple of hours to make bread from scratch? But if yeah. you make half of it the day before, and then you end up doing the rest the I morning mean, I'm, after. I mean, I've learned on this show that you can keep your base dough like a, a pit and keep oh, it yeah, for yeah, years, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is crazy. Well, yeah, um, you can have a starter from um, it. This is quite a dry. By the looks of it, it's not the wettest dough. When you talk about a crumb, what do you mean by that? What is the so terminology? This is so your crumb. So after so it's texture, baked. Basically. So the texture okay. of your bread after it's baked. Yeah. So you Yay. can feel it in your mouth. It's the mouth feel mouth that you feel. get from it. Yeah. Man, I'm learning so much today. Um, okay, so this little puppy goes into our tin. Um, how long do you bake it for? So about 
45 minutes. You've got to be careful how big your, your tin Tinners. is and you see, yeah? And a nice high, so 200, 220 degrees when okay. you pop it straight let in. It, let it do its thing. Yeah. Okay, well, we put the finishing touches on our crumb um, before we yes. put it in here. Um, you guys can see how we arrived at this with a bit of a blow by blow. Mm. Some things in life just go together, like the creaminess of milk and the sweetness of honey. Combine this with the delicious taste of freshly baked bread, and you can bake a slightly sweet and fluffy clover fresh milk and honey loaf. Pour one and a half cups of clover fresh cream milk to a mixing bowl. Add 10 grams of instant yeast to the milk, along with three tablespoons of honey. Then whisk together and set the mixture aside for about three to four minutes. Next, combine half a teaspoon of salt with three cups of flour and pour over two tablespoons of melted clover butter. Then slowly add the milk and yeast mixture. Mix until a dough forms. And knead it for about 10 minutes on a slightly floured surface. Return the knead dough to the mixing bowl, cover and leave to double in size. Finally, place the dough on a greased loaf tin and allow to rise for about 30 minutes. Bake at 180 degrees Celsius for 20 to 25 minutes. Remove the bread from the oven and drizzle honey over the warm loaf. Once slightly cooled, serve the bread with lashings of clover butter. You don't have to be a master baker to treat your family to freshly baked bread. All you need is clover and a whole lot of love. Made with love by clover. And there you have it, pure genius. Uh, the keyword is clover to double three seven two eight, and you can get started on your own milk and honey bread. Mm. It's awesome. I want to eat it right now, but in fact, we've got a superstar on set, so I'm going to go and share it with him. Grace, superstar. Not with me. No, sorry. Oh. No. You, you make it. Clover Fresh Milk is the number one milk brand in SA, made with love by Clover.